Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-16 Viper and we're going to be taking on the Sukhoi 35. Um, now the Sukhoi 35 is an upgraded derivative of the Sukhoi 27. Uh, mostly looks the same but obviously comes with a lot of modernizations, avionics, uh, new weapons, all kinds of stuff. And uh, even a little bit of stealth coating around the inlets of the engine which helped to reduce the uh, radar signature from a full frontal profile. So it's an interesting little aircraft and it's obviously got thrust vectoring um, as we've seen in more modern uh, Russian aircraft. Here we go for the merge and we lead turned him and he lead turned me and he's got a missile off. Whoa, that's gonna miss me. All right, I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. He's behind me, another missile just went by. Oh, he's back there nicely. <laughs> All right, let's try to stay out of his nose there. No guns force an overshoot this is a lot spicier than I thought it was gonna get almost had him almost had him again That Sukhoi 35 has flown by long shot, and he came out of the gate breathing fire. I didn't expect him to... I think I hit him there, yeah. I didn't expect him to be so aggressive right at the beginning like that. Uh, but here we go, I've actually hit him, and he's leaking something. But I'm pretty sure the Su-35 can take a little bit more punishment than that. I think I just hit the wingtip, which seems to be where that um, white smoke is pouring out of you can see he's actually outrating me on the way down which is a problem and I got to get to the correct rate speeds here and it's in the Sun so I, c I can't shoot that 9x there and that's all he needed to go around if that Sun wasn't there I could have had a shot right there and he's damaged, but it doesn't seem like it's affecting his flight profile enough. And we're pretty equal in the rate here. And I've actually gotten a little bit too slow. I wasn't paying attention. I'm at 240 knots, 50 knots, and that's very bad for the Viper. And he only needs a few more degrees before he can fire off his Archer. And I'm even slower now. I'm really messing up this rate fight in the Viper right now. I'm gonna extend, get some more speed. I'm gonna go for the vertical to see if we can switch this up because I don't think I can take him in the rave fight. Oh shit, I didn't know he was there. Miss All right, so last round, I made a pretty critical mistake at the bottom there. I got a little bit too slow in the rate fight, and that cost me. Um, however, I I think I got lucky in the merge. I feel like he should have lit me up in the merge. He got, you know, two missiles off and a bunch of guns, and I survived each one with millimeters to spare. So I think he deserved to win that last round, even if I had messed it up, but... You know, it's fine. Anyway, this is uh, my buddy Longshot flying for us today. Don't forget to check out his channel. Uh, link in the video description, pinned comment. Here we go for the merge again. Once again, lead turning him because we're trying to jam the Wes so that our missiles uh, can't hit each other. We're trying to min range the missiles. And there's a missile. Did that hit me? Somehow that didn't hit me.
That's a miracle. That one missed. That one's gonna miss. So we're just trying to stay close to each other and uh, make sure that those missiles can't hit us, but that puts us within effective range of guns, which he just tried to do there. He just tried to gun me. I can maybe get a gun hit here. Ooh, almost hit each other. And I hit him. I hit him. I hit him again, but in the wingtip, I think. I just can't get those rounds to land center mass. And pre-flaring. Oh, he hit me. Oh, I just took a 30 mil. Aircraft seems to still be fine. So we're going to continue fighting. 9x. Almost hit him there. Oh, he's doing a really good job here. Oh, I don't like this. He's going to get his nose around. And I'm too slow. I'm one circle fighting in the Viper. That's very bad. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. All right, good kill. <laughs> all right, so the Sukhoi 35, as expected, pretty good in the merge. Not bad at all. So the Viper is obviously a very good aircraft in a merge. Um, however, the thrust vectoring of the Sukhoi 35 is a serious problem. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do this time is I'm going to give myself some turning room. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to. He can deny it, but I'm hoping he's not quite paying attention and I can turn across his nose or his tail. I mean, and there's the merge, decent, decent. Here we go. I think I get him this time. Fox two. And that hit him. That hit him right in the face. Oh, he's fine. What the hell? He looks like he's alright. He did eat that 9x though. Alright, I don't think he's fine. He's not smoking or anything, but I don't think he's fine. Alright, I'm sitting in a really good position here. But you can't underestimate the Su-35. Almost had him there. And he is completely defensive at this point. I doubt he can turn this around. I think this round is as good as mine if I don't mess it up. Just don't get greedy. I'm fairly slow. I think we're gonna have to take him to the ground. And here's the deck transition. And we are in the rate fight. And he's very capable in a rate fight, so I can't let him. I'm gonna have to cash in everything I got to just get this 9x off and pray to God that it hits him. Fox 2. It's tracking splash one. Yes. And he's gonna go into those apartment buildings over there. And there's the ejection he actually punched out in time. Super lucky with that one. Finally got him.
All right, guys, so here we go with our TACV review. Uh, Red Sukhoi 20, uh, 35 flown by Longshot and me in the F-16. Uh, so we'll talk about real quick here, uh, one circle, two circle, and why we choose the one circle for this kind of fight. Uh, this is a Hobbs fight. It is a high off bore sight. And just to explain, this is a one circle. If he turns this way and I turn this way, I want to do this real quick because uh, we explained this many times. Uh, nose to nose fight is a radius fight and this is what we're going to opt for in this fight and the reason is because the one circle creates a very minimum separation between the two aircraft and if we opt for a two circle like if I turn this way and he turns this way uh, this is a two circle it is a degrees a second uh, nose to tail fight and what happens here is we have a large separation between the two aircraft we can both shoot missiles at each other and nine times out of ten this creates a mutual kill situation which is not really good enough that's not what we're looking for um, so we're going to opt for the one circle in order to keep ourselves close together and by keeping the two aircraft close together what happens is we are jamming what's called the wes uh, the wes is the weapon employment zone and basically it's the same concept as boxing when you hug the guy to make sure he can't throw punches at you this is very similar to that and uh, another important concept in this turn is the lead turn and the lead turn is a legitimate tactic it is not cheating <laughs> as many people think um, it is a first of all even if it is cheating if you're fighting fair you're not fighting correctly in these situations uh, you're trying to max perform and take advantage of everything that your aircraft offers in order to win um, the only rule is we don't shoot at the merge head-on because that would be a stupid video um, so we get the we do the lead turn here because the lead turn will actually allow even closer separation like we won't be that far apart if we lead turn and lead turning is very much a skill you can do a lead turn that comes too early um, that would be a Syrian lead turn and you can lead turn too late which is basically useless so lead turning is a skill it needs to be timed perfectly and as you can see it creates a situation where the separation is very minimal between the two aircraft and so once we're separated like this basically um, where we can just you know fire missiles at each other and they won't hit and so what you see happening here is him firing his Fox 2 mine doesn't track because I didn't have a good uh, the seeker wasn't seeing him very well when I fired it um, but you can see here I'm close enough that that missile doesn't hit me and also when you look at the flight path you can see it flies basically straight uh, that missile essentially didn't have time to react um, because it's jammed. The Wes is jammed. And so this is why even the Viper being a two-circle fighter is opting for the one-circle fight in this situation. You're hoping that your Hobbs or your high-off Boresight missile is going to allow you to wrap this fight up quickly before it you know, leads to a situation where um, you're not competitive in the one-circle versus the two-circle. And so because we're both alive, I'm once again going to maneuver in relation to the bandits and I'm going to once again force the one circle. You can see him doing the same thing. And we're just trying to stay close to each other. There's my Fox 2, which can't track because he's too close to me. And so I go for guns. That's basically the only thing you can do in this situation. Um, and you can see both of us continuing to force the one circle on the way down, just reversing turns into each other. His missile misses because it's jammed. And basically this regime uh, repeats itself all the way down to the ground. You can see two more which miss and he tries to gun me there. He misses. Um, Pre-flaring also very important. I kind of forgot it on the way down here um, because if you pre-flare you can also increase the possibility of this missile missing you should he fire it. Um, but as long as the Wes is jammed you should be safe anyway but it's precautionary. And as he crosses me there, I think I hit his wingtip. I think that's that round. And so he's giving off white smoke here. And here we are. Once again, one circle. He actually takes a shot. Tacfi was not re registering it, but he did hit me here with his gun. You can see some pieces falling off my aircraft. And so I'm going to once again try to force the one circle. At this point, the Viper is running into some problems. I haven't been able to wrap up the fight quick enough here and it's constant one circle. The Viper doesn't enjoy this kind of uh, situation and the Sukhoi 35 does. It's got thrust vectoring. It doesn't mind the one circle regime. And so here we go. He's going, I'm going to fire another one, which will miss. That one actually comes within 115 feet of him. And uh, this one, 
So at this point, you know, it's basically over. I try to bring the nose around, but I'm too slow in the Viper already. And by this time, he's getting his nose around nicely, and he'll get a Fox 2 off, which is going to hit me. So in these high off Boresight fights, um, it, the most important thing is jamming the Wes, staying close to each other, and uh, surviving those missile rounds. Now, this was a really good example of multiple missiles missing because of the, the, the Wes being jammed. This fight could have very easily gone down to guns only. Uh, when, in fact, we weren't very far from that. So a very even fight on the way down. Uh, once again, don't forget to follow Longshot's channel. Uh, links in the pinned comment video description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.